So you're probably seeing these YouTube channels generating a whole lot of views on YouTube in 2023. And basically one of the topics that actually blew up was about Cat Williams interview, right? He took over the internet and it has been generating a lot of views. But you have seen these thumbnails, they are very attractive. They are making a whole lot of views because the click through rates are very high. And I've also been using that to make a whole lot of views myself. And you ask yourself, how do these people create these amazing thumbnails that are bright, that are clean, that are good enough? Well, don't worry because this video will be designed for that. I'll be teaching you step by step on how to create these thumbnails and achieve the result. And please do well to follow these steps because any step you miss, you might just fall out in this. And the software I'll be using for this thumbnail is Adobe Photoshop 2020. You can use whatever version of Photoshop you have, but try to use Photoshop because I've realized that it's only Photoshop that will keep these scripty clean looking thumbnails for 1 million views in 11 days. And for this actually shows me that these views are steadily increasing. What else can you do than actually creating videos like this? In my last video on my YouTube channel, I'll attach it on my description how I showed you how to create celebrity YouTube videos in 2023. And in 2024, this has even become the new trend. But for this video, I'll talk about the, the thumbnail because I know that increases the click through rate so much. So as you can see, this thumbnail, it's pretty simple. Let me just explain to you how this thumbnail has been done in general so that as you go further, you understand what I mean. So it has a picture of um, Cat Williams actually reacting because it talks about the topic here talks about Cat Williams glass rappers who actually slept with DT for a check, right? So they named some series of rappers here, but then again, on the thumbnail, you have a, DD, a picture of DD of Cat Williams reacting, you have a series of pictures of maybe some celebrities he has actually gone in bed with, and now you have a caption they not they are not big things. So that is it. And let me show you how I actually do to create the thumbnails. So the first thing you want to do is you want to actually look at this thumbnail perfectly to see that you can actually create it or duplicate these thumbnails because I know very well that from what you see, you can actually duplicate it. Now, what you want to do is you want to actually come to Google, for example, and look for the people that he has actually gone in bed with. For example, this one, I just look at, I just searched what people did this slip with from Cat Williams and showed me this picture, right? So let's assume that this is this picture and we're just going to download it. But then again, you need on another, another preset, which I'm going to talk about, which is an interior background of a city room. So basically what I did is I just typed here brown city room and I get me a series of pictures, but I just downloaded this one. You can find the one that works for you and you'll see how important it is. Now let's go back to the thumbnail again. You will notice that this thumbnail, you know, if you search on on Google or on Kid Interest, Cat Williams reacting to um, Cat Williams angry or happy or reacting to something, you will not find this specific picture. It is obvious. So what these people have done is they have come to this section of the original video. You can probably just search for Cat Williams in Capio, right? You will find the original video. I think that the point I saw it was around 56 million views. Yes, they went to a point where that was actually reacting in a very bizarre way and the screenshotted it. For example, this one, it was screenshotted and then the image was enhanced. I will show you how to enhance that image. But for now, just know that this is how this image was gotten. So let's assume that, okay, you're not able to go through the whole video and you don't have an idea of where to get this image. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to copy the link of this video. You're just going to take share, copy the link of this video. You come to this site which is called softtro, softtro.io, that is it up here, softtro, you paste the link in here, and there you go, you got to get the image that was used for the thumbnail. All you want to do is just to download that thumbnail, right? Now, we'll go to the main um, editor, which is um, Photoshop, but let me just show you guys what I did before having this, right? Because many people are asking me, also, Mladi, how do you have this image way? He's already removed the background, has already been removed. So there you go. So what I have to just do is, let me delete this for the sake of this video, please. So all I have to do is, I have to import the background which I use for this video. So notice here that I have imported a certain background which I downloaded. Remember, I told you to download a city room background, which is, which is that, right? So all you have to do is just to click on this, background image that you have downloaded 
you come to filters, you come to bl to Gaussian to blur, sorry, you come to Gaussian blur, and you click on this and see the rate at which I have at, I've put my blur. So the moment you click and reduce this blur, it changes, right? But I'm just gonna go with 12 as original and I take on OK. So this is the blur level that I am getting. So you see that it actually looks very good, right? This looks very good. Now, next thing is to import the different videos, the different pictures, sorry, that we have. So for example, this one of Cat Williams, since we are not able to screenshot that setting part of that video, all we have to do is just to download that from the which I did show you. Now you come to this bar, which is a selection tool. All you have to do is to click on this selection tool and select it in a broad way so that it picks out the necessary part. So as you select this, it loads a little bit and you see it has picked out only Cat Williams, right? So what you want to do is you want to click on this maths icon, at layer maths. When you click on this max icon, you see it has taken away the background. Although it's not perfect, but for now, let's just manage with that. Remember, the best way to do about it is actually um, go to the video itself and screenshot it. Then next, you want to click on this very little icon here, and then you increase this, you increase, sorry, and then you want to increase this tone, this picture to fit the whole screen, right? Okay, now notice something here. Right, because see, if you need this bar up here where he said it's not fully cut, people are gonna notice it. So what you want to do is you want to increase the size of the image and fit it perfectly like this. Like this, I don't think someone is likely gonna complete. But for now, don't worry about this. Now, next you want to come is to the image layer. You select this image, use the selection tool, you select this image and you come to the image layer. Within the image layer, you see some adjustments. You can click on brightness and contrast. Now, there is auto mode, which is gonna help you to adjust the image and make it clean for you to use. But I don't actually use the auto mode. I'm gonna increase the brightness of this image a little bit, increase the contrast of this image a little bit. Remember, the best option to get the, a full quality image or of this kind of sword is actually screenshotting it from the video itself because the video has a whole lot of quality. From there, when you go to that, all you have to do now is to import the other image. Now, we're just gonna come to this picture and download this save as. Okay, we're gonna save this one. Remember, we're saving the image in JPEG because Photoshop doesn't read web files, right? So we're gonna save in JPEG. And then while we go through that, we want to import this clip into Photoshop. So there you go, you imported the clip. But what you want to notice is within this thumbnail that was done, within this thumbnail, there was a little bit of a blur around, around him. It's not in this one, but on this channel, you see that in some cases he has a blur, like in this case, there's a blur around him. And in other thumbnails of this sort, there's a blur around him. So what we want to do is, we want to add a little bit of a blur around him. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select this image, we go to the selection tool, we select this image, and then we double click on the image and then an option is gonna pop up. Now you'll notice that there are a series of options here, but what we want to use is for outer glow. So it gives that yellow color. That is because I have chosen the yellow color, but if you click on outer glow and on the here to the color section, you can see that this is where I actually set the color to and I chose this part. Now you can just duplicate the same thing you've seen on the screen and do for your own self. Now when you're good with that and have this kind of blurry image, right? What you want to do is now to select, go to the selection tool, select this image, which we're going to talk about, which, which actually represents a synonymous to this one, right? So while we go to that, now when you want to increase the image, you come to image, adjust, you select, you sorry, the select tool, so you can come to image, adjustment, brightness and contrast. You want to increase the brightness to be clean. Increase the contrast a little bit. Let me press this by a little bit again. And there you go, your screen. You see, we're starting to get there, right? Now, you have to still double click on this image, on this part of Photoshop. You double click on that image, and then you click on stroke, right? You see, it has added a stroke to it. Now, you can always play with the size, right? But I'm just gonna advise you to turn around somewhere like here, and everything will be good to go. And then you take, okay. But if you want to also add a, like an outer glow to this, you can double click on still on that image. 
you come to outer blow and there you go you still have an outer blow that makes sense right then you click on the selection tool you make sure that you move this image to a position that makes sense and they try to increase this but it's going to show you this field smart filters have been applied this thing don't show this again and take okay and then you can increase this image based on the size that you want so you see we are slowly getting there now when you're done with that click on the selection tool you see everything comes back as clean as clear as it was now we want to add a small text to this so you're going to come to the text tab you draw where you want to add your text and remember when you click on the text tab some sub options sorry some options to pop up around here where you can put it left align right align and you can also choose your color for this color i am going with yellow because as you can see here it was done in yellow so we're just gonna type um something like in cap logs they they are what am i gonna type let me just say victims right just remember we're just Mm, sorry, I want something very interesting. I think let's go with it. It's true. Okay, there you go. Then all we have to do is select all of this, put it in italics as you can see here, and then you see we are starting to come there. Then use the selection tool to move the, uh, the text to where I use the selection tool, sorry, to move this text to wherever you want to place that. And then you're probably asking, if you can see on this, there's a little bit of a dark, dark straw on any colors fader to these captions, right? What you want to probably do is to add that, you have to click on the text, right? You come to this part where they, you see this mouse, you see the mouse cursor, you, you, you double click on that or you right click and you take select pixel. When you click on select pixel, it changes to something like this. Now, what you want to do at this point is to come to this little tab where it says add a new layer. So you create a new layer, you bring this beneath the other layer. Now, you still click on this text, on this it's true layer. You come to select, you come to modify, you come to expand. When you click on expand, it shows you the expand size, but please use this one six. When you've got it that, you click on OK. You want to log on to the, lead, the next layer which you added and then you click on this icon which is the paint tool. Remember the paint tool, I'm using the color black here as you can see the paints, the bucket tool, I'm using the color black. All you have to click do is to click on this. And when you do that, you see it's changing gradually but you still have some small dotted lines on it. So what you want to do is to come back to the select tool and click on the select. And when you're done with that, you see that everything now will script clean. But if you want to increase this, you have to do a selection of these two layers by clicking on the control button and clicking on the two layers, right? Click on the control button and click on those two layers. And then you use that selection tool to actually increase this, you see. And then after that, you can position it the way you want to position it. You see, we have already come up with something very unique, but if you notice, this image shape is not as clean as it's supposed to be because I'll use that method. But for example, let's use another scenario where I use an image shape that is clean, but I'm not gonna, I'm not just gonna use this image. I'm just gonna use another image, probably of Justin Bieber for the sake of this video. So I'm just gonna delete this and I'm, I'll import the next one. I will continue from there, an image I will continue. 